it's Diane at Minerva. I hope you're all having a wonderful week and today I'm excited to share with you one of our kit makes. So this saw along today is a kit for the Sable Boyfriend Knit Cardigan by Stylark and as you can see it's a fabulous deep cardigan with these wonderful pockets, long sleeves and a lovely long line. And everything that you require today will be contained in the kit so you'll have everything you need to get started. And what we're using is this textured cable knit. So it's a Minerva core range fabric. It's a beautiful weight. And this particular shade is silver grey. But should you require something different, there are 36 colours to choose from. Now, as always, wash and prepare your fabric before you begin. This saves on any shrinkage later on. And when you've done that, take a tape measure, double check your sizing to make sure you've got the perfect fit. And when we've done that, we're going to go and cut our pattern pieces together. So let's go and do that together now. Here are our pattern pieces for our cardigan. So here we have the back piece. Now this piece, you want to place it on the fold. This is your fold line here, and this is your straight grain. Make a note of your markings. So these little snips here and here show your one centimetre seam. Here we have the front piece. This time you're going to cut two pieces. Again, this is your straight grain. And also this time you want to mark your pocket placement here. You have the maximum stretch going this way. And this is the hemline, this broken line here. Here we have your sleeve pieces. Cut two as a pair. This is your straight grain. Again, make a note of your uh, markings. So these notches here and here. The maximum stretch is this way. And this is your hemline here. This is your band. Make a note of the shoulder point. These notches in the centre and here. And also the button placement here. This is your pocket. Cut a pair. Make a note of your notches and of course the fold line here. So now we're ready to begin making our cardigan. So first of all you want to wind half of your thread onto your machine spool and check your machine needle. Now I'm using a ballpoint needle today. I'm using a size 80. So these are in your kit ready for you. And then when you've done that and you have the correct needle in place we're going to stitch our pocket pieces. Now you have a marking here each side where you need to turn the pocket over. So you're going to do this to the inside first of all, like this. And we're going to stitch down each side in the seam allowance. When we've done that, we're going to turn it through. So let's do that first of all. So it's turned back like this on the seam line. So we're going to back tight to begin. And we're stitching a one centimetre seam down this side. going to do that on the other side as well. So you do have your marking where you need to turn it back to. So you may have marked this with a snip or maybe with tailor's chalk. Now when you've done that you can cut away a little of the excess. And you can poke that through to the outside like this. Now this can be stitched down. Now stitch down the top of your pocket. I'm doing mine from the inside. You can of course do it from the outside. Pin it first of course because we don't want it stretching as we're stitching. Now pin on your pockets where marked on the front pieces of your cardigan. Now it's best if you do them both at the same time so that you can line them up and check that they are both even. So do this first of all, and now we're going to stitch that in place. We're going to edge stitch it all the way around. And you want to reinforce at these points here and here. And I also like to do it at the corners here as well. Now with right sides together, pin your shoulders. So you're back to your front at the shoulder seam like this. And then when you've done that, we're going to stitch that in place with a one centimeter seam. 
Now make sure you change your stitch to a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch. Make it a little smaller. And also if you pull a little on your fabric as you go, this also helps. Make sure you're doing both sides together. It has got the stretch going in this direction and you want to make sure that those stitches don't snap under any pressure. So check. Now check your manual for your stretch stitch and use the one appropriate to your machine. If you have an overlocker, you can of course overlock your pieces together. Set your sleeve into the armhole matching the notches. So with right sides facing, you want to make sure that you match the notch here and also the one at the shoulder point and then pin it the rest of the way. We're now going to stitch that with a one centimetre seam. Now, next we're going to sew our band for our cardigan. Now, on this, I've applied a strip of interfacing to the back of each bottom piece, so up to where your buttons would go. Now, the reason I've done this is to give it some extra stability when you're making your buttonholes. Now, you can just add individual squares, but I prefer to add a full strip. Now, I've done this on both sides so that it's always a little bit stronger when you're adding your buttons as well. And even if you're using press studs, it always helps, I feel, to add some interfacing on the back. So you may wish to do this as well. When you've done that, we're going to stitch our back pieces together at the neck. So we've got a notch, we're going to place those right sides facing and stitch that seam there. This is the shoulder point here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stitch along the bottom, turn it through and fold it in half and press it. So one step at a time, let's stitch the back neck together first of all. So we have these two notches here. So with right sides facing, line those up. I'm going to stitch that in place. Then the bottom of each piece I'm just going to move my pin along because that's showing me where my button goes. Fold it in half so you'll have your marking here for the halfway point. And we're going to stitch across this bottom here, just here. And when you've done that, you can trim away some of the excess. And then turn that through. Now do that on both sides, give it a light press halfway and then you can stay stitch all along this raw edge here just to keep those pieces together. Now at this point you're going to pin your band around your cardigan. So find the centre back point of your back neck, so I've marked it with a piece of chalk here and you're going to line up that central back seam just there. Then these two notches, you have one either side, here and here, are going to line up with these shoulder points. Make sure that the shoulder seam is facing towards the back and lying flat. And then you're going to pull it ever so slightly like this and line up your notches here and then further down the front just here. And you just have to pull it just a little to make that notch line up. And then at the bottom here, your band where you've edge finished it look, you've turned it through. This lines up with this marking here and this is where you're going to turn up your hem of your cardigan on the inside and that will line up with the band just there. So you can overlock, overlock that, zigzag stitch it or you could even turn it in if you wish. Now what I've been doing is I've been using a stretch stitch, as I said before, to finish my seams, but then I've just been finishing them off with the overlocker. So if you don't have an overlocker, you could zigzag finish your seams at the end if you wish. So let's stitch this band in place now. Now turn up your hem over your front band like this, and we're going to stitch and catch it in place just here, and then we're going to turn it through and hem it.
so it will look like this and then we're going to hem that in place so do that on both sides now I'm just adding in a Minerva Maker label at the back of the neck hem your sleeves now at this point you might want to take your pattern piece this one for the band and remark your placement for your buttonholes and buttons so I've put a pin in each place where my buttons are going to go my buttonholes and you can also use press studs if you wish and stitch these on at the other side so create your buttonholes now now once your buttonholes are in place what I like to do is place it over the top of the other side like this and then mark exactly where the center of that buttonhole is and do that as you add on each button now this saves them moving slightly out of position while you're stitching them on because sometimes that can happen and then you'll end up with your buttons done up a little funny maybe like this so if you do each one and then place the buttonhole on top for the next one and check this makes sure that they're all lined up nicely so now we're going to stitch that button in place so I'll do a few stitches to begin well here is the finished cardigan I think it's a beautiful oversized cardigan and would be a really good piece for building your capsule wardrobe. It would go with lots of things and I love how they've styled it on the cover as well in two different colourways with the different uh, outfits from different style art patterns. I think it looks really nice. Good deep pockets and the nice drop shoulders. It looks really well in this silver grey fabric. Please let us know in the comments below if you've made this pattern before and remember to include any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. And of course, take a look at the Minerva Craft Club to get 10% off all your orders for a whole year. Now you can also create a free account with us, which is really good fun and share all your ideas, inspiration and makes on there. I like to do that. So please do pop on, have a look and join up today. Well, that's all from me for today. I've really enjoyed making this pattern. And remember, it is a kit, so you'll have everything you need and you don't have to worry about having anything missing. I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye for now.